Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. <clears throat> I'm going to do a four cup flip today because I flipped my lid. So I'm doing four cups and I already have three of the cups layered with the paints and they're, they're differently layered. Same colors, but different layered. But I'm going to do the last one and show you the colors I've used, which is I mixed my sky blue and white by Arteza together to make up like a baby blue. I have a turquoise green by Amsterdam. I have my gold by Arteza. I have my greenish blue by Amsterdam. And I'm adding in this cadmium light red by Golden this time. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I think it might look really, really pretty with these other colors. So, I'm going to use this blue first, and this is the Carolina Blue by the Porridge Posse. Next, I'm going to put in my white with that. I'm going to put in a little bit of my handy dandy treadmill silicone. <clears throat> Using my turquoise green. And this will all be in the, um, the video. Description. Yeah, Phil will have it in the description. This is my gold by Arteza. A little bit, a couple more drops of this. Using my greenish blue by Amsterdam. Putting in my cadmium red, light red, by Golden. Putting in my baby blue concoction that I made. Put a little more white in there. A little more gold. A little more of my turquoise greenish color. As you can see, I have these all different, so I mean, I'm mixing it up just to see what kind of a concoction I'm going to get here. I'm going to add a little bit more of this baby blue in there. I'll add a little bit more of that there, too. Okay, I already have my canvas all finished and ready to go. And that's a 12 by 16 canvas, correct? Yes. Correct. You were to write that down, Phil. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to let them sit like this and then dump them on the canvas. Okay, here we go. And I don't have my paint clothes on, so hopefully this does not <laughs> get on me or I will be very upset. Okay. Lip and lip. I can't do it left handed. Okay. Don't go off. Don't go off. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. See that light red? Even though it's a light red, it's. Woo, baby. It should be pretty though. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I got to use up some of my paints that I already had made, so this is the perfect way to do it. Are you going to drag them on the canvas at all? I'm going to drag them in a couple minutes Okay. after they all float down. We're going to see what happens. pretty slick. Now, so what what I'm going to try to do the next time, I'm not going to flood my canvas because you don't really have to flood your canvas, but I'm, I don't know, I want this just to flow on my canvas, so I always flood it, but 
I'll try it the next time without flooding it. Okay. Oh, look at this cup art. Oh, yeah. oh, that's cool. We always have to have our cup art. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this one up here. Let's see what happens. Bring this one over here. And we're gonna bring this one down here and see what happens. Now you can either take like a stick. Where's my little stick? There's a stick right there. No, not that stick. My little stick. Oh, I hope I didn't lose that. That's my favorite little stick. Oh, here it is. It's hidden. And you can take this and you can go like this through your thing and make different designs. So we're going to see what happens. That's interesting. Yeah, it just kind of... Okay, so I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit. Do no, I, have I wouldn't. I don't have any in there anyway, so I'm going to leave it. So you're going to tip it just a little? Just a little. Yep. Not much. I'm not going to torch it yet either because I'm just going to see what happens here. I think it's stuck. You gotta do this very slowly because otherwise you'll lose some of your a lot of your cells. So you just wanna just stretch it very slowly. It takes a while, but it's worth it. Don't be in a rush. If you do this, don't be in a rush. Okay, we wanna bring this back to the middle. I think these colors are actually pretty awesome. Yeah, I like the colors a lot. Mm -hmm. it, it, always, it always surprises me, though, when you use the same colors, how on some areas, like on this side, you get more red popping up, and this side you get more of the blue, blue. popping up. It's, it's so it's, strange. Uh, very random, which is nice. I like that. No one can ever duplicate anything that you make. Because it's, it's virtually impossible. This is like almost um, an undersea thing. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of neat. I'm just going to barely get this over and bring it back to the middle because I don't want to lose some of these things. Mm -hmm. This is really, really pretty. Almost looks like a fish in the middle. Bring it back. Do this so it runs a little bit better. Yeah, I don't want to put that there. 
Okay, I'm going to torch it and see what happens. I'm going to sure. put it down here. You always want to start out high with your torch. You know, if you want more cells, then you go down closer to your canvas. We haven't started any on fire yet. Thank God. That would not be good. Although yesterday, I'll tell you that number 60 video, I was still laughing this morning when I woke up because it was like, I can't believe I had that. I couldn't. I couldn't figure out why the, the paint wasn't moving. Well, yeah, when you have it backwards, it's not going to move. What Kathy's talking about is her blooper on number 60 uh, with the with the paint sprayer. Uh, no, the uh, it's that uh, uh, you put it's the feather or whatever. It's not the well, you can call it a paint sprayer, but oh my gosh. When I looked up and I saw Phil covering his mouth laughing, it was so funny. It was like, oh my gosh. So you must, if you want a great laugh, go watch video number 60 because it, it's really hilarious. I'm going to just bring this back. It's really pretty. It's really, really different. Mm -hmm. I love all those colors. Just gonna torch it one more time. See what I can bring up here. really pretty very very colorful not too many cells I really didn't get a lot of cells on this there's some now there might be more popping up as as you know the time goes on so I'll check it like in an hour and see what happens but uh, it doesn't really need uh, a lot of cells it just has yeah it's really, really pretty it's very very different very very pretty okay <clears throat> subscribe to my channel and hit the bell share it if you'd like it's pour, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. I have a horse in my throat right now. So please do that. Subscribe. And if you love this, hit a like. And until the next time, bye. Hey, most people have a frog in their throat. You have a whole horse. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs>